Welcome back to SV Learnings. A festival is an event ordinarily celebrated by a community with great happiness. In India, there are over 50 festivals that are celebrated by different cultures and religion. The Indian festivals form an integral part of the rich heritage of the country. Everyone is familiar of the characteristics of Indian festivals. They are socio-religious in conduct, worship of fire, worship of animals, etc. The census in 2011 reported that the religion in India has the largest number of followers in Hinduism, then Islam and the remaining on Christianity, Sikkim, Buddhism, Jainism and others. Many Indian festivals are religious in origin. The best known include Ganesh Chaturthi, Diwali, Thai Pongal, Holi, Durga Puja, Eid, Bakri, Vishu, Onam, Christmas and Vaikashi. During festival times, houses were decorated grandly and people wore different types of colorful clothes. From ancient times to the modern, the most widely worn traditional dresses in India was trapped. Later, it took the form of a sari. In urban northern India, the sari is no longer the apparel of everyday wear, but they remain popular on formal occasions like marriage, festivals, etc. The use of stitched clothes became widespread. Salvas are typically wide at the waist but narrow to a cuffed bottom. They are held up by a drawstring which causes them to become pleated around the waist. When the pants are cut quite narrow, it is called chiridas. When they are ordinarily wide at the waist and then bottoms are hemmed but not cuffed, they are called pyjamas. The kameez is a long shirt or tunic open below the waistline. The kutas is traditionally collarless and made of cotton or silk. In Kerala, most girls like to wear pattu pavada, which is a skirt with blouse. Dhavani, Havsari, Kerala Set Sari, Kerala Set Mundu, etc. are other traditional clothes of Keralians. Men wore dhotis and kurtas. Shirts, pants, pyjama, shirwani, etc. are other varieties used by men. Most festivals are celebrated within the house. People decorated their houses with flowers, leaves, beautiful lamps, fragrances, etc. Making sweets and offering them to God is a major part of every festival. People also share these sweets to neighboring siblings, friends and relatives. Rangoli making is very important in every house. The making of colorful patterns on the floor using a mix of materials such as sand, flour, petals, rice flour, etc. forms a rangoli, which is the most beautiful Indian folk art. Most festivals are related to temples, so performance arts are very popular in India. Indian National Academy of Performance Arts has recognized eight performance styles to be classical. Indian dance also features diverse folk and classical forms. The better known folk dances are the Bhangara of Punjab, the Bihu of Assam, Jumair and Chao of Jharkhand, Odisha and West. Gumar dance of Rajasthan, Garba and Dandiya of Gujarat, Lavani of Maharashtra, etc. are very famous classical dances. In southern India, festivals related to temples are more varied. Teyam, Tira, Otandullal, Kathakali, etc. are famous among them. Most festivals are often based on Hindu mythology and also borrowings from medieval romances or social political events. Bharatanatyam, Kathak, Mohiniyattam, Kuchipudi, Manipuri, Odissi, Satriya, Chavittanadagam, etc. are examples. India has a theatre training institute, the National School of Drama, which is situated at New Delhi, is an autonomous organization. Indian music ranges over various traditions and religional styles. Classical music encompasses two genres, the Northern Hindustani and the Southern Carnatic schools. Hindus, Christians, Muslims and every religion celebrated all the festivals together. Your comments are my motive. Hope you like this video. Like and share. Subscribe for more videos. Thank you.